Hey guys, it's Kesson. We are back again. This video is going to be about best in slot gear for shamans in Planes of Power. Um, thank you, Dadrock, for allowing me to use your shaman to showcase for this. Shaman's going to have uh, different pieces that they can choose from from Plane of Time. So I'm just going to present all the options and you can decide what works best for you. So first off, we have earrings. And there's going to be three earrings to choose from. Uh, earring of Unseen Horrors is going to be your no questions asked. You want to get this earring. This is going to give you full heroic stamina. And you want to stack up heroic stamina in general just to make your character more beefy. It also has three mana regen on it. And the third benefit of this is it has uh, it reduces the cast time of your beneficial spells by 30%. Um, your arms are actually going to have the same effect. So you can get it from one of those two items. Um, the other two that are optional, uh, you can choose whichever one you like is number one earring of temporal solstice this is going to give you an additional 10 percent savings on top of the normal 20 percent mana press so this is actually 30 percent here uh this the, but this only works on dots so on your dots this is going to make your dots cost a lot less the other option instead of that is earring of influx gravity this one has more mana on it it also has mana regen and it also will increase the range of your spells by 25%. So which one, whichever one of these that you want to get, they're both fine. Uh, you can maybe you can even get both and swap them around as needed. So next we're going to talk about the helm. And there's only one choice here, and it's uh, Koif or Koof of uh, Flowing Time. Uh, it has 40% haste, which is you know kind of neat, I guess, if you're trying to melee something. Uh, but it's just a stat pad. It's just a stat padder. For the mask, we have two choices. Number one is Visor of the Berserker. This also has improved range on it, uh, similar to the Quorum Earring. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing which items that you want to wear. And the other option is Veil of the Inferno. And you may just want to get this one, maybe just for the clicky, and then wear the visor full time. This will give you a clicky that gives you 180 extra health. And it still has decent stats, but it doesn't. its AC is not as high as Visor of the Berserker. So just keep that in mind as well. For the chest, it's just the Shaman class quest breastplate chest. This is going to give you 5 heroic stamina. It's also going to give you increased duration of your detrimental spells by 25%. So this is going to work like on your dots. For the neck, we have Talisman of the Elements. This is going to give you 20% mana preservation on all spells. It also has Quorum level stats on it. For... The arms, we have temporal chainmail sleeves. Uh, these are mostly just a stat pattern, uh, but they also have a beneficial spell haste on them, which is the same as Earring of Unseen Horrors that we just talked about. For the cloak, we have two options here. Number one is Cloak of the Falling Skies. And this is going to give you three heroic agility. It also has mana prez on it if you don't have that yet but it's only for detrimental spells the other option is going to be more expensive because more classes can wear it that's going to be shroud of eternity and that has four heroic stamina so whichever one you want you can go with either one for the belt again we have two options here we have belt of temporal bindings this is going to give you four heroic wisdom and the other option if you want to go a little bit more tanky is you can get Girdle of Stability. This will give you four heroic stamina. It has a little bit more AC on it. So whichever one fits your play style best, you can pick one of these two. For the shoulders, we have Shawl of Eternal Forces. And this is gonna give you a clicky that will increase your mana regen by eight permanently. And this is like an AA type gain, so you're just always gonna have this. For Bracer, we have Bracer of Precision, which is going to give you full heroic stamina. And this also is going to give you a direct damage mod for your ice-based nukes, which is nice. It's going to up to 35%. And the other Bracer is Bracer of the Inferno. Again, Inferno. Again, this will give you full heroic stamina. And it's going to reduce the cast time of all your spells by 23%. So that's a pretty huge deal right there. For the legs... It's just one option for the legs. Le leggings of Furious Might. This will give you two more heroic stamina. And three heroic agility, which will help your evasion a little bit. There are two options for the gloves. You can get padded tiger skin gloves. And these are generally go for cheaper. Uh, they're a little bit less demand than this other option I'm going to talk about. 
but this one has seven heroic agility. And the more expensive option is Gloves of Airy Mists. And these are more popular because they have more AC on them, but they're kind of the, basically the same. Uh, they have the same amount of heroic agility on it, but these are just a little bit more AC. But whichever one you want to get, you can grab either one. For the boots, it's just one option for the boots. We have Winged Storm Boots. This is going to be your Faerun item. It's also going to give you four heroic wisdom. For the earrings, I'm sorry, for the rings, we have three options here. Number one is you're definitely going to want to pick this one up. Pulsing Onyx Ring. This will give you three mana regen. And also it's going to increase the duration of all your beneficial spells by 25%. So like haste and focus, uh, avatar, things like that. It's going to increase the duration of those. The other option here is Ring of Evasion. This is good because it gives you heroic agility and it has mana regen on it. So if you're trying to hit that mana regen cap, this is a good item for that. Um, the third option here, which is optional, is Pris Prismatic Ring of Resistance. It's going to give you five heroic wisdom. Now, this doesn't have any mana regen on that, so keep that in mind. And it does have a clicky, though, that will increase your resistances by 15. It's also going to give you some armor class. So if you need that clicky, this is good for that. Or if you just want to wear it, um, you can wear it as well. For the primary, let me close these out. For the primary, we have two different ones that you might want to pick up. Number one is Hammer of Hours. And this thing is going to give you a uh, 750 damage proc when you're meleeing. But the main reason you want to wear this is because it increases the duration of detrimental spells by 20%. So if you don't have your breastplate yet, this would be a good item for that. But these two do not stack. And the second option, which is a must have, is going to be the Shaman Time Antithesis. The Shaman Slow Clicky. Uh, this is just good for a really long time. It's a right click slow with a three second cast time. You're going to want to pick this up no matter what. Uh, if you had to choose between one of these two, uh, you're going to want the right clicky slow version. So get this number one priority. For the shield, we have Whirl of Unnatural Forces. And this is going to be your healing mod. It's going to be 30% healing on all spells. Um, there are some shoulders in Planet Time that have the same effect. I think it's called Mantle of pure spirit so if you don't have the quorum shoulders you can also get the healing mod um, on that mantle i don't have a link to it but i will put a picture of it in the uh, on the website for the ranged item he doesn't have the best in slot range He's using stone of flowing time i don't really recommend this what you want to go for here is symbol of the plane masters and the reason you want this is because it has vengeance of eternity on it it's going to give you increased damage of all of your damage over time spells by up to 30%. It also has four heroic stamina, so it's going to make you a little bit beefier as well. And the other item you want to get is Eye of Dreams. This is going to give you plus 400 permanently to your mana pool, so I'm definitely going to want to pick this one up. Last but not least, we have the Charm. Uh, once you're maxed out with planar progression, it's going to be 17 AC, 80 health, and 100 mana. And these are just generally what your stats are going to look like. You're going to have around 8,600 health. Um, if you have Eye of Dreams, you're going to have around 9,400 mana. And your stamina can actually go up a lot um, compared to what this character has. You can easily get over 30 with just swapping in a, um, a belt in a ranged item. And you're going to have... Maybe you might have eight heroic wisdom. It's going to be give or take four of that four heroic wisdom, um, but we're going to have roughly around eight. And heroic agility, you're going to have around sixteen heroic agility. Again, you might it might go up or down a little bit based on what items you choose. But that's basically it. Um, if this was helpful, please make sure to like the video and please subscribe. All right, thanks guys. Bye.